Hello everyone, my name is Kill Chicken. I'm back with another video. Just wanted to quickly mention before I start today's video that you might have noticed I haven't really been posting a lot, and when I do post, I've been posting uh, a little bit smaller sets, not very expensive type things. And reason being is that I'm currently saving up for a better, a better device with which to take better quality videos. So yeah, I'm in the process of doing that, so I haven't been able to uh, make very big Lego purchases recently, but once I have finished uh, getting a better device, I should be able to go back into getting more Star Wars, more uh, Minecraft. I even want to try and get the upside down maybe, but yeah, we'll see. But anyway, today we're reviewing the Lego Spider-Man Far From Home Hydro-Man Attack. This is set number 76129, ages 7 and up if you care. And it has 471 pieces for $39.99 in the US. And first of all, I'm going to mention this is a pretty good looking set. <clears throat> as far as Hydro Man, he's very small. I think he definitely should have been more like uh, uh, more like Molten Man, just blue, that kind of si that kind of scale. But they, they made him more of a human sized person with a big water spiral at the bottom. But yeah, other than that, you have Mysterio, MJ, and Peter Parker. And as you can see, it's just a nice little bridge. It looks a lot like Venice. And you got also a little tower there to the right. You've got over here with the box art, Spider-Man not in his black and red suit, which would have been a lot cooler if they did. The price to part ratio is pretty good. Then there's Spider-Man on the side, as they've been doing recently with their Spider-Man in a more realistic look on the front and then the Lego look on the side. Coming around, you see you got the, all the spider web pieces, you got a little coffee machine in there, some of the action play features, and just another overall look at the set and what it can do. So yeah, I'm going to build this up and review it. Alright, here's the set all built up, and let's take a quick look at each one of the minifigures. I guess we'll start with Mr. Hydro Man himself, and I like the amount of blue colors that they use for this character. It really gives that nice watery effect. And as you can see, he's got blue legs, blue arms, the light blue uh, uh, hands and torso, light blue head. And then he's got an even lighter blue printed on his torso and his head. He's got some nice little bubbly effects there on the back of his head and a little bit on, the, uh, on his back as well. And even a little bit on the front. And even though he's not accurate to the film where he's huge, I like getting this unique and exclusive minifigure in this set. I guess we can quickly discuss this little uh, water build thing that he sits in right up here. You got two studs up there for him to just kind of clip in right just like that. And yeah, it's a really nice build. I love these pieces that they use for kind of the water spiral. It would have been nice if they had included the function for this to be able to spin. I think that would have been really cool to kind of get like he uses his little head as a knob and just spin around the, the build. I don't know. I just feel like that would have been cooler instead of just the... Uh, the static look but I mean hey it looks cool so that's what matters they also use these nice little stickers to represent the water and yeah I like how they're translucent so they blend together with the color of the piece that the, you put it on and I think that's literally pretty much it with the build yeah it looks nice and I guess that's cool <laughs> and here we have uh, Henry Turner no um Scott Lang no no not that one either oh it's Spider-Man who would have thought I don't think this face print is good for him. I mean, look at those eyebrows. Those are thick eyebrows. That smile looks like like an older fellow. He's he's supposed to be like 16, and I just feel like he deserved his own unique face print. But I mean, we we get what we get, and we 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 don't throw a fit. But anyway. It's a nice minifigure nonetheless, even though it's inaccurate, he never had his suit on during this part of the movie because he didn't want his classmates to put two and two together that he's Spider-Man because they're in Venice right now. But I mean, I'm not complaining. And this new little hat piece with the spider eyes printed on, it's about time we got one of these things. This is, this is phenomenal. And so that's pretty great. But what they also include was the hair piece, this little kind of the dark brown Superman hair piece, which is a really good fit for Peter Parker. Also, on his torso, they have his Spider-Man suit kind of underneath his jacket and shirt, which is a really nice effect. He has jeans, probably what those are supposed to be, and then on the back, you got another face print. Uh, you got an alternate face, face print with a scared look. Again, just doesn't really resemble Peter Parker very well. 
and then you've also got the hood on the back. It also, you know, comes with these kind of web attachment pieces. This one being good for swinging because you can clip him to something and then, you know, swing him back and forth and that kind of stuff. And then this one for webbing up the bad guys because you got the string and then the giant thwip at the end to catch somebody. Next, we have another exclusive minifigure. This is MJ, and this is a really, a really good minifigure. Other than the fact that this torso print is just a reuse from, I think it was a Jurassic World set. I could be wrong though, but yeah, that's not, uh, that's not a unique torso print at all, which is a little bit disappointing. But I mean, still a good minifigure nonetheless. This hairpiece also is not, you know, the best choice for the minifigure, but it works, I guess. And it looks like she's about to hit somebody with a big stick. But I think that's just supposed to be an oar for this little boat. You know, I think I think it would have been nice if they included Betty instead of her, and then included her instead of the Fireman in the Molten Man set. And then that would have been better, because if you get the accessory pack, you can have Ned and Betty in this little boat here, which actually, you know, looks pretty nice. You got the little red seating there with the little half arches at the end. So yeah, cool little boat piece. I wish they had those little smooth things on the bottom so that it goes across like surfaces like really well like to slide, but they didn't. But anyway, back to the minifigure. So you can see she's got a first, uh, a really good first facial expression. And then on the back, she has an even better facial expression. Like I really like this. She looks like, like if you were to have her standing somewhere by webbing and then she's just like hmm that webbing looks very familiar <laughs> but yeah good minifigure last but not least we have Mysterio which is a fantastic minifigure which makes you wonder why they put him in every single set but I mean I don't know why they wouldn't either I mean it's kind of a good fit he was in all the scenes that you see him in so I mean yeah it's just kind of crazy that you know you'd get one of him in each set so you get a total of like three Mysterios <laughs> with no variation at all but he's got a nice spongy purple cape, and you know, that's really nice. I like how it it's able to move more than the the papery kind of cape, so that's nice. He's got this awesome fishbowl helmet, which goes on top of a silver head, which gives that really nice foggy look. He's got these blasting, these little power blast things, which shoot really well. That wasn't good. I guess that was kind of good. But he's got some really nice torso print with some purple gold and the kind of bluish color but yeah it really resembles the character very well i wish he had dual molded arms since he kind of had golden gauntlet things on so that would have been cool if it was half green half gold but i mean this is good too i guess and then on the back he's got some more printing so yeah that's pretty much it with all the minifigures let's move on and here is the main build of the set and it's very rarely that you would get an architecturally stunning build out of a marvel set normally they do vehicles and uh, you know they don't normally make really nice looking buildings and that kind of stuff but i mean this is a really really nice looking bridge kind of a really nice arch shape and you've got a little little cafe over here with a big tower and it just looks really nice overall starting over here to the left you've got little stairs leading up to the arch and then you've also got this kind of little thing right here to like have the boat over by to where you can get out of the dock and that kind of stuff. Coming over the bridge, one thing is kind of weird is that they have that little kind of inverted slope piece and it just looks a little weird right there, but it's kind of for a play feature, but it just didn't seem very necessary. I don't know what else they would do, but I mean, whatever. They've also got all these little kind of studs sticking out of the build, so you can have like Peter climbing the wall like this or like, like this. Or whatever or you can you know take the web pieces that they include and uh, just stick them in other places on the build where they have these little studs so that's that's kind of nice so you can get some more variation to the build so it's just not the same thing over and over again then underneath here looks like we got a rat a little rat down there eating a piece of pizza they seem to like to put pizza in the spider-man sets a lot also you got a ruby is that a little ruby down there someone just decided to flush a ruby down the toilet and now it's in the sewers. But it's a really nice build, that's for sure. Like this, I'm getting like Indiana Jones flashbacks to when they're down in the sewers and there's the rats and stuff. And it's kind of nostalgic because I used to have an Indiana Jones set which took place in like Italy or something. So that this, this set kind of reminds me of that like a lot. Again, coming to the back, you got like more of these stud pieces. I don't, I don't know, you don't, wouldn't really be doing a lot back here. So it's kind of crazy that they 
included so many studs on the back but I mean if you want you can you know put your people like that and as you can see there's a very inconspicuous button right here and that is for a play feature where you can have somebody up here and then I guess it's supposed to imply that they get blasted off or something because you press the button and then the bridge gets smashed so I mean that's it's a cool feature I guess but you know it doesn't make a lot of sense is it's Hydra Man like back here going like this ah. I really love the amount of wedge pieces used here just to give that really nice architectural arch kind of look it just looks really nice they all blend together really well and just a really nice bridge overall again the wedges up here really make a good top to the arch and then coming over here we've got a little kind of coffee shop as you can see it says right here uh, what does that say? Flores Cafe. And uh, you got a little bit of a little greenery on the top there. I don't know if that's plants made from plants. That could be pretty cool if it actually was, but I don't think so because it doesn't advertise that on the box. And then you've got a giant uh, giant web right here. <laughs> you can make, make Peter hanging out on this web. Yeah, that's fun. And then they've got this really cool tower right here. I really love these new pieces right here. It kind of like kind of like goes over to this side and then it also goes over to that side so that's a really neat new piece that I haven't gotten before again they're sticking these studs everywhere for you to you know put web pieces or have people crawling up the side or even you can have a uh, even have Mysterio kind of flying on the wall too because you know he flies and that kind of stuff so yeah I mean that, that's not bad either and then again we got down here the little uh little table again with some pizza right here now there it says Lumo de Mysterio which is man of mystery uh, I don't know what that says though you got a little cup here this is a nice little table for you to sit some minifigures who are just chilling and then uh, some of them are about to uh, have a little surprise you got a little button over here where uh, you press it, it kind of catapults your minifigure yeah if, if <laughs> it's kind of a weird uh, little action feature there, but I don't know if they want to make it so that like Spider-Man's kind of jumping onto Hydro-Man, or if Hydro-Man is knocking people like out of their seat. That didn't work. Let's see. I can do this. This is gonna work. It doesn't work. You got this nice, really, really nice looking lantern right here with that little, that little, what is it, a fez cap? I think that's what they call it in black, which is just a really nice top to that. Uh, piece right there and then coming on the inside of the uh, Little cafe you got a really uh, really neat looking coffee coffee maker coffee machine And you got the little white mug there you got the lever on the side and they even had a detail Added where you've got a clear brick clear one by one Which is probably where you know you put the water and then it heats up and then it comes out into the cup and then it's coffee So yeah, just a neat little detail and coming back over here I forgot to mention there is a neat little uh, detail right here to have kind of a grill down here for where kind of the sewer is. So yeah, I think that's pretty much every little detail to this, uh, this little bridge and tower slash coffee shop thing. It's a really nice set. Again, it's not every day that you get in a nice, really architecturally stunning set from Marvel. So it's really cool to see this. It's just such a unique set. And I, I hope we can get some more like this. So yeah, overall, I just, I really love the minifigures, except for the choice that they uh, used for uh, Spider-Man's face. Just not the best, not the best choice. I wish they had made a, a unique face print, especially for him. Hydro-Man would have been cool if we got a, more of a brick-built character for him, but uh, nonetheless, it is a cool exclusive minifigure there. MJ, I would have liked more a, a better hair piece, but other than that, the rest of her character is pretty great. And Mysterio, of course, you can't go wrong. You got another Mysterio. He's pretty great. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you are subscribed, cl click the bell icon to stay up to date on every video that I post in the coming future. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it again. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.